Hello, today I am going to discuss fetal skull. This is the fetal skull. It consists of three parts, calvarium also known as skull wall, the face and the base of the skull. Of these three parts, it is the calvarium which is of obstetric significance and that is what we will be discussing today. The calvarium comprises three flat bones, the two frontal bones, the two parietal bones and the occiput. The junction of two flat bones of the skull wall is called a suture line. The junction of two frontal bones is called a frontal suture, the junction of frontal and parietal bones is called coronal suture and the junction of two parietal bones is called sagittal suture and the junction of two parietal bones and the occiput is called as the lambroid suture. The junction of three or more flat bones of the skull wall is called as a fontanel and there are two fontanels which are of obstetric significance. These are the posterior and the anterior fontanels. The quadrilateral or diamond shaped gap between the two frontal and two parietal bones is called as the anterior fontanel. The potential triangular gap between the two parietal bones and the occiput is called as the posterior fontanel. There are other fontanels like the anterolateral and posterolateral fontanels, but they are of no obstetric significance. The area bounded by the anterior fontanel and the posterior fontanel and the two parietal eminences is called as the vertex, which is the presenting part in vertex presentation. The area bounded by the root of the nose anterior fontanel and the two frontal eminences is called as the brow or sensiput, which is the presenting part in brow presentation. The area between the root of the nose, mentum and the two malar eminences is called as the face, which is the presenting part in face presentation. Before I talk of the important diameter of the skull, I will talk about the important points on the midline of the skull, which are subocciput, occiput, point midway between the anterior fontanel and the posterior fontanel and the parietal eminences or the center of the vertex is called as the vertical point. The center of this anterior fontanel is called as the bracma. The root of the nose is referred to as the frontal point. The mentum and a point below that on the anterior aspect of the neck is called as the submentum. Now I will discuss the various engaging diameters of the fetal skull in different attitudes of the fetal head. First is the sub brigmatic diameter, which is the diameter of engagement for occipital anterior position. It measures 9.5 cm. Next is the mento vertical diameter from the mentum to the vertical point, which is the diameter of engagement for brow presentation. It measures 13.5 or according to some books, 14 cm. Next is the occipital frontal diameter which is the diameter of engagement for deflex attitude of the head in occipital posterior position. It measures 11.5 cm. And lastly, the sub mento pragmatic diameter, which is the diameter of engagement in face presentation. It measures 9.4 cm. There is another diameter of importance in the transverse axis called the biparietal diameter. It is the maximum distance between the two parietal eminences. It measures 9.5 cm at full top. The following line diagrams from my book Practical Obstetrics and Gynecology will help you to revise the important diameters of engagement. The sub brigmatic diameter for occipital anterior position is 9.4 cm. The occipital frontal diameter for occipital posterior position is 11.5 cm. The mento vertical diameter for brow presentation is 13.5 cm and the sub pragmatic diameter for phrase presentation is 9.4 cm. And lastly, the biparietal diameter which is 9.5 cm at full term. For further reading on this topic and other topics, refer to following textbooks written by me. Practical Obstetrics and Gynecology Modern Obstetrics Modern Gynecology Clinical Cases in Obstetrics Questions and Answers and Pelvic Reconstructive Surgery